High-rise fires are a matter of life and death. And as local governments and municipalities struggle with public safety budgets, a new study shows that communities considering cutting firefighter crews may need to take a second look. When firefighters respond to a fire in a high-rise building, the size of the crew on each apparatus is the critical factor in quickly putting out the fire and rescuing occupants. That's the finding of a major scientific study of crew size in high-rise fires, led by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. The study measured the time crews, ranging from three to six members, took to complete a series of firefighting and rescue operations 10 stories up. Because it takes them longer to get set up, smaller crews end up fighting larger fires and facing more toxic environments than larger crews. When you get in these high risk, high level uh, emergencies, you need more staffing as far as putting water on the fire, the fire out, completing the searches, victim rescue, and so forth. It concluded that crews of three firefighters start at a disadvantage compared to larger crews, and things just keep getting worse. If you're working with a smaller crew size, it's going to take you a longer time to get your tasks accomplished. When it's life and death and there's fire, it's a matter of seconds. It makes a difference. The study also determined that sending fewer engines and trucks, each staffed with five or six firefighters, was more effective than sending more vehicles with smaller crews, even when the total number of firefighters was the same. It was definitely better to have that five. I mean, when you had just a crew of three, you couldn't search as fast, you couldn't get as much search done effectively as when you have the other help with you. The larger crews can save time by carrying out crucial tasks simultaneously, rather than in sequence. This saves lives, lessens injury to occupants, lowers property damage, and prevents firefighter injuries.